Okay. Alrighty, so we're here at Specialized Global Press Launch 2012, 7,000 feet up here at Snowbird. A um, whole bunch of people arriving today. We get to test bikes, we go to the seminars in the morning. This morning we've seen some stuff. Uh, it's been pretty cool actually. A whole bunch of new stuff for the bikes as well as shoes. And this afternoon we're getting to ride up to 7,000, down to about 5,000. And I am on this bike today. If we look at the bike, this is what I've got here so far. It's a Roubaix. It's a Roubaix. S Works 2013, and I'm looking forward to testing this out. So, gonna get to ride a few bikes over the next few days. This is the first one, looking forward to it. Cheers. Well, after a very fast descent from Snowbird, it's a 14 km back up the Snowbird, and I'm on the uh, the Roubaix, the 2013 Roubaix, and um, rode a little bit smooth at this point to actually get a good feel for how this bike performs. <laughs> Might have to take on the cycle cross. Pretty dry, beautiful countryside we're in, being hosted by Specialized this year. Up here at uh, Snowbird above Salt Lake, Salt Lake City, yeah, up at altitude. At the moment around 6,000 feet, climbing up to around seven and beyond. And on, on the Roubaix. A variety of bikes of the guys from media from around the world are trying out today. Whoop, got to watch for the vehicles. Nice. As we're all on our climb back up the snowbird. Well, okay, I've come away up there, a good 16, maybe 18k climb. And this is the Roubaix 2003 that I'm on still. And um, taking a little bit off road, taking onto the gravel. And it is a smooth ride. It does feel, you can genuinely feel it's smooth, smooth things out. And the smoother, of course, you are, the more power I can then transfer onto the bike. And uh, yeah, way up here, almost 9,000 feet, giving this bike a really good, uh, a good ride. Way up here, above Alta, way above Snowbird. And let's see what goes way up here somewhere. Beautiful views way down to the, way down to the valley down there. As I continue my climb up here on the gravel section. And I uh, don't think I'll be able to go too much further. I have to take this puppy back. Test out something else. Well, here we are. Catherine Pass away up at 9,000 feet. Ridden, <coughs> first put on, obviously, <coughs> asphalt and then onto the gravel on the Roubaix. And certainly a smooth ride. About to see what it's like going downhill, especially on the gravel. I'm um, going to point out under the seat here what they refer to as the cobble gobbler with this little insert under here and the way the sheep's the seat is shaped definitely smooths out the ride same with the rear stays back here with the inserts and on the front forks obviously We've got the inserts as well on the Roubaix the Roubaix 2013 SL4 it certainly has been a smooth ride and actually three seats are here as well very wide rear seat stays very stable if you can actually really feel it when you come out of the seat accelerates nicely very stiff bike and uh, very smooth. About to see what it's like to go downhill on the gravel. Alrighty, well, fantastic ride, almost um, 1200 meters of climbing, uh, two hours of riding on the 2013 uh, Roubaix, including the gravel section. Um, last uh, clip that I did, of course, was talking about it going downhill. Well, I've got to say, it was smooth as going downhill, reached sort of 50 k's an hour on that gravel downhill one stage and it was sweet. All in all, fantastic bike, probably really good for New Zealand roads, smooths out a good ride, and as uh, Specialized has said so far, smoother is better, and uh, yeah, this was a fantastic ride.